Oh, patient zero. Of course, anything about uh, pandemics and uh, viruses these days all only point in one direction. And now this was a time when zombie movies still uh, really meant something other than clues or coronavirus. So yeah, also, I mean, I don't know, would zombies really come from a virus? I don't know. Like, it seems like they, they might come off from bacteria, don't they? Like, I don't know. And again, I suppose, yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. So, the point is, with regards to this, right, with regards to this, um, yeah, it is, you know, another zombie movie, so, I mean, surely not. It's, you know, I never expect much from zombie movies, uh, to be honest, you know. That includes all of them, right? This is what baffles me, honestly, so, like, you know, I don't know if people have some sort of nostalgic fancy for Romero's specifically, but I, I don't see them as anything different from the counters of other, even if they were the originals or there at the beginning, at any rate, it, they still aren't different. So I don't know if everything else just copied them, but they're not special in my eyes. And what is unique about this, though, specifically about Patient Zero, it, it is the fact that, I don't know, it has music. I, I didn't see that being done anywhere else, firstly, unless I've missed it. I don't think it was done in Romero. All I remember from Romero's is um, shopping malls, that's pretty much it. Of course, there, there are uh, more conventional zombies, like slow moving zombies. Yeah, but um, anyway. So I, I don't get why people seem to really not like this. I mean, it's not exactly rated by a lot, it's only rated by 10,000 people. But, so, you know, not, not very large representative sample. Either way, though, I still don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe they just, um, I mean, most zombie movies aren't very interesting. But this, this has something else, actually. Oh, so, besides, besides the music bit, you know, I don't think I remember before anyone being able to talk about other zombies, generally. So, this is what I mean, so, I mean, Romero's, I, I don't think Romero's had anything of the sort. That's what they're boring, in my opinion. What was the point of not, not talking to, 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 to and the slow moving? Like, can it get more boring than that? This is generally why I prefer vampires over zombies, generally, much more generally. I mean, vampires can talk, usually, you know? And when it comes to, you know, it's like a sub horror genre of this. I, I just don't get what people seem to like so much. Zombie movies, honestly. And then when it comes to something seemingly unique here, yeah, they don't like it apparently. I mean here, yeah, apparently even with 8,000 raters, they seem to think it's below average, right? which being, you know, like, literally the midpoint. Um, so yeah, it's, it's absurd. This had music, you know, the, the, the quirkiness of uh, naming zombies after singers. And it had the professor, of course. The professor is such a brilliant character. Um, you know, he played them all. He did, did take out, uh, take up his time, and it's so brilliant. Has it ever happened before? Do, do, do Romero zombies play psychological games? I don't, I don't think so. I just, I don't, I seriously don't get how on earth you can like this so much more. It's completely boring, in my opinion. Right, maybe I'm missing something here. Yeah, I haven't seen them in years, so you know, by all means, I might be missing something indeed. But what, what's the point of them? I don't, I don't get it. Really don't get it. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying 
this was one of the best movies I've ever seen or anything, but far, you know, very much not. But yeah, it was interesting while it lasted. I mean, you know, before they entered the place, you know, because then I mean, when when you get you know whatever you know, just lots of conflict, lots of, lots of chaos, lots of shootings. Yeah, no, in any movie that's just not interesting, you know. But it wasn't actually full of that mostly, it was only the last part that was, you know, not even the third generally. I think it was more like, I don't know, maybe 20% of it that was full of that. So, um, the rest uh, was relatively interesting, for a zombie movie at least I'm saying, you know. Relatively interesting, you know, not, not in comparison to sci-fi generally. Certainly, I'm just saying, in comparison to zombie movies, I know people do not like it. Honestly, I'm inclined to say that this is a a zombie effect. Honestly, I don't know how else to say it. Like you know, just because Romero was there at the beginning, or just because he's you know, a classic or something, doesn't mean anything. You know, honestly, the fact that <laughs> more people like. This movie specifically, I do not like others somehow, even though they have unique factors. Just indicates that they might be a zombie, actually, like you know, uh, bandwagon, you know, bandwagon effect and everything. You know, just I, don't know. I really do not work like that personally. Um, I go by what's unique, what's interesting. I mean, you know, they try to have a, uh, you know, they try to inject pathos through. Um, you know, that romantic relationship there, and while, you know, it was interesting, you know, at the, at the end as well, effective, but still not very powerful, so on, on that front, not, not quite very powerful, but still interesting, you know, and still, you know, um, at the very end there was still, you know, but, you know, they didn't exactly have much of a thing, you know, they, they did try to build something up through the usage, usage of flashbacks, particularly, it, it still doesn't quite work. I mean, I don't know. It was ultimately it, it was more about the search here for this and such. I don't say it. I mean, as, as a zombie movie goes, you know, uh, even the fact that you know Resident Evil is so light generally, I I don't get it. You know, it's it's seriously, it's it's a you know being a video game. It's uh partially boring and partially just. Difficult, so I don't know, but uselessly difficult really when it comes to video games, at least, you know, like uh, just uh, you know, uh, limiting the saves and such was nonsense, anyway. Um, yeah, in terms of uniqueness, this was interesting, honestly. I don't know what people are complaining about, but I'm sure I'll be enlightened if I try to read. About them, just not so enlightened. I'm sure they go on about how Romero is automatically so much better, and no one else can possibly be better. Anyway, even the fact that I mean, there's only like I don't know, 10, 15 on Rotten Tomatoes, but apparently it's 15% uh, certified or whatever that means. Uh, it's just ridiculous. So yeah, both critics and general. Populist, you know, the general viewer thinks this is, isn't really that interesting, but you know, I, I, in comparison to other zombie movies, I'm saying it seems interesting to me, you know, in comparison to, you know, Star Wars or something, obviously. Um, but, you know, this just me, honestly, just people are bizarre, so if you have, I tend to rate in comparison to others. It was a very similar nature. Nature I watched in the past specifically. Of course, I don't know if there are others that are better that I haven't watched. I can't say much about not having watched them, you know. Uh, but um, this though seems interesting, you know. Uh, certainly, a professor zombie playing psychological games with his host was one of the highlights, along with the playing of music. I don't remember. Any such scenes in other zombie movies ever, you know? So that's just it. An equally interesting sci fi alternative, though, Last Days on Mars was interesting too, yeah, of course. 